is good you guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lepan mums and i'm back again with another awesome video <laughs> and probably some of you have been asking yourself why did i say i'm back again it's because somebody was copying me today in the lift so i was like oh so i was like why do you say i'm back again oh, guys, that's how I say back. So, but then without further ado today we're going to do um a food technology q a because i've seen um that most of you guys don't really know what food technology is and yeah even my parents don't so i don't know really. so uh, yeah and for the couple of weeks we've been doing all nasty confessions videos and stuff and as you can see today i'm even representing baby yeah i'm wearing this stuff so yeah i basically have the questions in here because i'm using my photo film so yeah so i have like how many questions i've got like seven questions i just hope i make this video short because wow me and black okay. so um somebody asked her what is food technology and what the, what are the um enrollment requirements so basically food technology is just the application of food science in selection preservation uh packaging distributing of uh, and and use of safe food so basically what this means is every product in your in your shelves in your 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 in your retail markets and everywhere is is basically um influenced by the food science so yeah that's basically what food technology is and then the enrollment requirements um I'm, I'm i'm currently studying at tut so at tut what you basically need is um uh level four in your mathematics physics english and then your level three in life sciences yeah if you don't have any of those subjects you are you will not be able to enroll but then also make sure that your your, your marks are higher than that so that you can stand a higher chance of being um accepted in the university because you know tut is a people's university so almost everyone gets to apply there. so and then the, the second question is um why did you choose this inter interesting uh, field? Do you like it? Okay, so basically, initially I wanted to do I wanted to do medicine. To be quite honest, I wanted to do medicine, but then when I got to metric, uh, that's when I, I actually realized mm -hmm, I'm not medicine material. Sometimes you just gotta accept that you're not a medicine material. So basically, that's what I did. I actually realized that I'm not a medicine material. People who do medicine, like they work almost every time, and I'm a lazy bum. I'm a lazy bum, so medicine is, will be just too much for me. So basically, I, and then also with food technology, um, I've always been interested in in, 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 in in reading labels and stuff, knowing the ingredients and whatever that I eat, you know. But I didn't, I didn't know that there was a certain course that uh you could just uh, you could actually be involved in those um in those stuff so when i was doing my tech that's when i discovered food technology and i started researching i was like oh i'm actually interested in this field and and yeah i do like it i do like it it's just that i don't have like deep passion for it but i do like it <laughs> i can say like i can like for food technology but yeah I do. and uh the next question is what uh, what do you make of have a life uh, supplement and that is um, the long term effect okay I've, I've I've seen I've seen a couple okay personally I haven't had like any effects i don't have any side effects using have life i've used have life before many times and I, I personally don't have um any side effects or what's and, 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 and what's not but uh, i've seen a couple of videos before i even got into have life actually i i've seen a couple of videos where people were talking about um getting liver infections and stuff and stuff and stuff but one thing i know for sure is that um the the thingy the herbal life shake actually has has soy uh soy protein that's why it's actually suitable for vegans and non-vegans everybody actually so um I'm, and then those actually allegations were not scientifically proven 
so i can't say for sure if they really have like long-term effects or it's just that uh, people have different bodies and we react differently to like a different stuff i mean different products but then uh in the food sector also soy um um uh i mean yo yeah yeah soy is, is is regarded as an allergen so and on the package it's 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 it's, it's indicated so basically uh i'm you should go to your doctor and see if i mean do um what's this an allergy test so that you can know which food product are you allergic to and what's okay not. uh gassy food has no food regulations advice on that okay um okay i'm not <laughs> i'm really not sure how to answer this but uh okay they they do not have regulations but again it's, it's 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 one of those affordable things and you know how um how kasi life is like and i'm not trying to say people in kasi are poor but then most of them are but then mo most of them are so um if they were to like uh, go with the regulations and stuff that would require them like expensive equipment expensive um what's this chemicals to clean up the places and stuff you know and those all, uh, and all those kinds of stuff that would like that would be so expensive and you know like those um gassy businesses are actually made of uh, I, I actually i actually actually they're actually like small businesses they, they have like the least capital so um regulating them would be so expensive uh which would actually impact their businesses in some way because i don't think if i'm staying in alexandra i don't think i'll go buy quota with only like two chips and two two pol i mean with like one polony for like 25 friends because i mean they're gonna make it expensive if, if they're gonna use like expensive equipment right so yeah that's basically it i just feel like um food regulations should be regulated in in, 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 in places like bosantan and stuff yeah Okay, I know that's a very, that's a very, very, very lame reason though. Mm. Yeah, but then, <laughs> yeah, that's actually my opinion. Even though it's like the lamest opinion, I still need to like go look up. And then, that. what's another question? Oh, this actually was the funniest one. Where somebody was like, what do you guys do in the lab? Okay, um, are we eating those weird chemicals? <laughs> okay uh, in the labs most of it depends on which lab you're in it might be a microbiology lab where we get to, uh, to analyze the relationship between the microorganisms and the food or we could be in a food technology lab where we are actually um just developing products or like, like new products and stuff or we could be in a food biochemistry uh, lab where we check uh, the behavior of food under different conditions we might be checking moisture content water activity you know um, the amount of peroxide in, in, in oil between like fresh oil and used oil you know all those kind of stuff um, yeah that's basically it you don't really eat the chemicals but then if unless if we are talking about uh preservatives which i haven't learned about them yet um because of covid i guess uh yeah we might be talking about uh pre preservatives flavors you know yeah those are the ex the actual chemicals that you guys get to eat and then where do you see yourself after 10 years of being a qualified food technologist okay so i i actually want to work in in, in in quality assurance um yeah that's actually a way i wanna like shift my focus to in quality assurance and stuff um uh in 10 years <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not really sure if in 10 years I'll still be in the food industry But if it happens that I'll be I'd still be in the food industry because I, th I feel like I'm still way too young to like settle in one industry I 
I, I like I really need to like shake myself up and like go around and see other other thing other faculties and stuff and see how it goes. But then if I'd still be in 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 food in, in food technology, then um um I just want to do something with my um, with um food quality. I see myself as like a food quality usher in one of like the biggest um uh what's this retailers yeah retailers like Woolworths you know yes baby um yeah I think that's it right yeah that's basically it for today and yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you subscribe to this channel like and share it and if ever you know somebody who want, who's in metric who doesn't know what to do or they want to do food technology but they don't know where to start and how it goes the involvement stuff i mean i think i've already said how the involvement goes but then if you are in um if you ever go to up yeah i think that's where i know how it goes in up they've got food science not technology they've got food science and for your extended for if you want to go to your uh, obviously nobody wants to go to your Nobody wants to do extended. I mean, who needs an extra year? Uh, yeah, but then for the extended, I think it's 26 AP, APS. It's APS, right? Yeah, APS. Um, and then with your Latin 50, yeah, that's an extended. But if you want to do like the mainstream, you're going to have to have your your meta your, your meta is 16 but make sure if you want to go to the mainstream get your meta to 7 at the 70 i know meta is boring but then you can do it okay thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video thank you